Hello Scorpio. Welcome to this 2021-2022 year end review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So what we're going to do in this video Scorpio is we're going to look at uh, the past of 2021. Talk about what that was has was or has been for you. Okay and wrap up some messages there. And then we're going to look into 2022 and see what could be coming on coming down the line for you in 2022 potentially what the year could be about for you central focus type of energies is what i'm hearing please keep in mind guys that this is a general reading all right so take what resonates and leave what doesn't it's not going to resonate with everyone um and i i will say that you i you can watch this reading for any placement okay that you have any planet that you have in Scorpio or wherever Scorpio is for you or however Scorpio resonates for you, you can watch this video for any placement. Of course, the top three, Sun, Moon, and Rising, are going to be the most effective, most likely the most um, resonant for you, especially with you know your rising sign being at the top of that list. But go ahead and watch this for any placement in your life, anything like that. All right, Scorpio? So we're going to use two tarot decks here to look at one deck is going to look at 2021. The other deck is going to look at 2022. And then we're going to close out the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Earth Warriors Oracle. All right. Excellent, Scorpio. Let's get started with this. Uh, five shuffles for your year of 2021. What has 2021 been like for Scorpio? This is one. Two. Three for Scorpio. For Scorpio. What has 2021 been like for Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to 2021? This is four. And this is five. All right, Scorpio. So... What has your year been like? Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, so it seems, it looks like here, Scorpio, that over the year of the course of 2021, you've been able to let some things go, release some things from your life, uh, leave things behind is what I'm hearing, and get involved, excuse me, get involved with some new inspiration. You have the Ten of Swords in reverse with the ace of wands um this could this could have been a legal battle for you um a legal separation is what i'm hearing so you could have been going through a divorce over the course of 2021 um i am i'm for somebody here i'm picking up on some sort of legal battle and what i'm hearing is that you've basically been set free from this in whatever way, whatever this was for you, all right, um, there was a level of entrapment here, potentially, for some of you, all right, this is a general reading, Ten of Swords is in reverse, but just what I'm getting from the Ten of Swords in reverse, Scorpio, is that some something is finally over, or something finally came to an end over the course of 2021, and that set you free and allowed you to move forward with some new direction or something new that you desire. There's something here that over the course of this year allowed that like basically released you from its energetic clutches and allowed you to move forward with things that you really want to pursue. Something that may have been in greater alignment with, uh, may have been in a greater alignment with you. Um, it could also be something that you were really inspired to do or really wanted to do for a long time, but there was something that you needed that that was holding you back that you needed to be set free from first and that's that ten of swords in reverse okay overall energy right now is the devil so some of you i think maybe the big message for some of you here right now scorpio over the course of this year um has been divorce you may have and the legal troubles or the legal battles that came with that um i keep i keep looking at something that I want to show you. Okay, Scorpio. Um, I didn't know this was here before I sat down, but it was as I was sitting down to start your reading that I looked over and this caught my attention. Look at what it is. It's a caterpillar. 
that is forming uh, some sort of, like it's forming its cocoon or it's looking for a place to rest to form its cocoon. Okay. But this has a lot to do with your transformational process that you're going through. So I wanted to pause for a second and show you that before we continued on with the reading, okay? Because that was really catching my attention and I feel like you really needed to know that. So with what I'm saying right now, what I've been saying here, there's some sort of transformation that you went through over this year, over the course of this year, Scorpio. All right? You are that caterpillar. Now, for some of you, maybe it's that you're at a place right now where you can really start the healing process. Maybe you're not necessarily the butterfly yet, but what I feel like here is there is a level of freedom for you, um, a level of having been re released from some sort of entrapment that has kept you from even moving forward in some sort of transformation, that has kept you in this perpetual caterpillar state when all you really wanted to do was expand and grow into the beautiful butterfly ultimately that you needed or wanted to be or want to be. And now I feel like moving forward into 2022, you will be able to be that caterpillar that's now can spin its cocoon so that it can go through its next phase, its transformational phase to the butterfly, okay? I wanna, I wanna pull a little bit more for you Capricorn, not Capricorn, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the devil at the bottom of the deck. Although you might've been dealing with a Capricorn over the course of this year. Maybe that was who your partner was that you were getting potentially getting divorced from, okay? But let's see, what else has 2021 been like or represented for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio in terms of 2021? Any other messages, Spirit? All right. Uh, let me just double check here, make sure, because I feel like something, no. Okay, so you have the star with the Four of Swords. So the year of 2021 may have actually been, uh, what I'm hearing is a big eye opener for some of you, okay? You do have the two pentacles at the bottom of the deck here, all right? So, there, I, I, But what I'm feeling here, Scorpio, is that, you know, the year of 2021 was a really big eye opener for you, potentially. Um, and this has been a common theme for all of the signs so far as I've been doing these readings. But there have been, for a number of the signs this year, there have been circumstances that put you onto a higher awareness or a greater awareness or maybe even a greater understanding of what it is you truly want and desire out of life. So what I'm getting here for you, Scorpio, with the Star and the Four of Swords, whatever situations you ran up against in the year of 2021, it kind of forced you to stop and look at what was really going on around you or it kind of focused, uh, forced you to focus on getting into alignment with what it is you truly wanted. You like there were circumstances that started to cause you to ask yourself, or at least let me say it this way, that caused you to start asking yourself, what do I truly want here? And maybe even how do I get that? Okay. Last messages for Scorpio for the year of 2021. Last messages for Scorpio, please, spirit. All right. Yeah. You were unable to move forward, Scorpio. You were unable to move forward. The fool in reverse. No matter how bad you may have wanted to. The king of wands. Now what I'm getting with the king of wands here is the fact that, or the understanding that, um, the king of wands is an action-oriented individual or an energy, right? An action-oriented energy. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Now, all of a sudden, my allergies are starting to act up. Um, an action-oriented energy. But he is going to wait until the right time to strike. He's not the type of individual to just be shooting shots, you know what I mean? Unless he has that window of opportunity that has opened for him. So really... Scorpio, even though there may have been things that you wanted to take a leap of faith on or you wanted to move forward with, the divine timing just wasn't there. There was literally something that was holding you back from making these moves or taking these steps. 
You do have the Nine of Swords as the overall energy, but then underneath that is the Seven of Cups back to the Devil. And underneath all of that is the Queen of Wands, right? So you have the King and the Queen of Wands that are showing up here for you. And I love how the light just kind of like opened up right as I put that up there. That's really cool. Okay, so underneath all of this, the fear, the anxiety, the what ifs, the confusion, the toxicity, the codependency, the attachment, underneath all of this was your true alignment, the Queen of Wands. And this needed to be cleared up first, right? Before you could actually take this leap of faith move forward in the next direction. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Let's move forward. Let's talk about the year of 2022 and what that's going to look like for you, potentially. Yes? Five shuffles here. One. So, what is 2022 looking like? For Scorpio. This is two. This is three. Four. <laughs> Four. So what's 2022 looking like for Scorpio? Here we go. For Scorpio here, 2022. What's coming down the line for Scorpio? What is looking at like? Ha! Okay. I like this, Scorpio. You have the King of Wands again. This time it's with the Chariot. So, okay. Okay, and overall energy, you do have the Five of Cups, but you have the, underneath that, you have the Star and Death. There you are, Scorpio, all right? So, um, there may have been some losses that you've experienced here, obviously. Okay, we're talking about that. We've mentioned that. But whatever it is you ha what happened to you, whatever it is that you went through or that you faced over the year of 2021, Scorpio, it really actually put you, helped to put you in a greater alignment. Or we could say it this way. You used or you took the opportunity to get into a better alignment for yourself in the face of whatever it is you experienced over the year of 2021. And it doesn't have to be that these situations just materialized in 2021. They could have been longstanding situations from years prior. But the point here, Scorpio, is that over, to, over the, the course of 2021, you were able to get a clearer understanding of what it is you truly wanted. And so moving into 2022, you have that same drive, that same passion, that same alignment, that same desire as you did to move in a certain direction as you did in 2021. But while you were in 2021, you were blocked from moving forward with that. In 2022, there's the alignment that drives you forward. And so also what I'm getting with this Scorpio is that you actually needed to go, obviously you needed to go through these things, but what Spirit is saying specifically is you were not in the best alignment for whatever it is you truly wanted to move forward with anyway. And over the year, over the course of the year of 2021, you were able to get yourself into that alignment, the chariot, to get your emotions in check, should we could say. Okay, because your emotions really are your compass, right? So you had to understand, you had to go through the process of understanding what it is you were feeling in order to see clearly and truly go after what it is you wanted to go after. Now you do have the five of cups here as the overall energy, like I said. So yes, there are things that are spilling out for you or have spilled out for you, but that's clearing the way 
for more of your desires here. And that's allowing you to make the transformation that you need to make. So you can move forward with what it is you truly want. Beautiful. Let's get um, anything else. Yes, one more poll for Scorpio for the year of 2022. Anything else for Scorpio for the year of 2022, please, Spirit? Anything else for the year of 2022 for Scorpio? Okay. Overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. Good. Slowly but surely moving forward, step by step. And I definitely feel like whatever it is you are wanting to you are wanting to move forward with or have been wanting to move forward with Scorpio, I feel like you are definitely going to be able to do that now. Now you have two more cards here, that, and they are the Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. And really, what I want to say about this, Scorpio, is either this is what you're going... Yeah, mm, yeah. I feel like over the course of the year of 2022, Scorpio, you are going to be dead set focused on what it is you truly want. Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles. I don't see anything really getting in your way to remove you from this foundation. This greater sense of clarity or greater sense of having a, a groundedness that is keeping you focused in terms of where it is you want to go, all right? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles to the Hermit, to the Knight of Swords, and then there's the Fool. And the King of Swords here. Well, the King of Swords underneath the King of Swords is the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Uh, I just heard stay focused on your trajectory, but also, Scorpio, I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you've gotten to the point over after after dealing with what you dealt with whatever that was for you personally in the year of 2021 there is nothing that is going to break your focus now that you have this opportunity to move forward with whatever it is you want or whatever it is you've been wanting to move forward with now that you have that opportunity you're not going to let anything stop you so that also that message kind of feels like a message to anyone else that is watching this for Scorpio or something like that or like as a cross watcher or whatever is watching this on behalf of somebody that they care about or somebody that they know especially if you're someone that's fairly close to them do not try and get in their way do not try and stop them because their alignment is correct for themselves there could be some outside interference in terms of people or whatever that may not necessarily want you, Scorpio, to move in a certain direction. Let me tell you something, guys. If you are that cross watcher that sees this Scorpio going in a direction that you don't like, too bad. It's their life. It's their alignment. Let them do what it is that they do. Let them do what it is that they want to do. And no, I'm not here trying to promote any sort of like extreme selfishness. But also, if that is, shit, if that is how they're approaching this, then you really don't want to get in their way. I mean, like, if somebody is being overly selfish, then just let them be overly selfish and run themselves into the ground. Or deal with the karmic backlash, whatever, right? But even if this is in a positive way or in a good way and you for some reason don't want to see them succeed or don't want to see them go down this path, don't get involved. Because this person or Scorpio here has really done a lot of work to free themselves from the confines that kept them from doing this in the past. And so now that they have this open opportunity, this freedom to do it, they're not going to be stopped. All right. Let's close out this reading for you, Scorpio, with your oracle guidance here. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. Alrighty, Scorpio. What's your closing oracle guidance for this reading? 
is right there. Card number 40, Hiaka, Sorceress of Light. No enemy shall defeat you, not by night, nor by day, not upon the earth, nor in the soul. You are divinely protected and empowered. You shall fulfill your destiny with joy in your heart and laughter in your belly. Play. Be in nature. Feel the freedom of happiness within you even in this moment. These are your sacred powers, and with them you shall take every step upon your journey successfully, and nothing shall thwart your divine destiny. In a reading, this card says, ask for nothing. I'm sorry, no, that's not what it says. It says, ask for healing, mentoring, or assistance to support you now. This support will help you feel stronger and more empowered so as to deal with any challenge and be reassured that your spirit can handle it. There is spiritual protection for you now as you follow the guidance to explore conscious movement and creative self-expression. This can stir up old energy. <sighs> releasing it from you and allowing vital presence to take hold within you. You are going through an initiation in which you will need to reassert your happiness and joy anytime it slips into the darkness of doubt, fear, or anxiety. Take time to dance, sing, drum, and affirm your aliveness with joy and courage. Become spiritually bolder. Become spiritually bolder in the face of anything that attempts to diminish you. Have faith in the power of the divine being, the supreme power. You are watched over by love. All right, Scorpio. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you guys so much love. Um, if you would like to get this reading for yourself personally, I am offering that. Just check the email, check my email in the description box below. My email is down there. Shoot me an email and let me know you would like this spread specifically and I'll get you all set up. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your year and a fantastic 2022 ahead. I love you all so much and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye.